as the blame game between the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited and all trading companies on who is responsible for the importation of contaminated petrol rages on. Nigeria's fuel scarcity worsened on Wednesday as it appears to have persisted in Nigeria's commercial nerve center, Lagos, as many struggle to go to work or engage in other daily routines. Has now, and since it hasn't gotten into my tongue, so I don't know where we are going. And it's all like normal basic necessity these days. They don't give you electricity at home. You have to still power your generator. When you, you power your, I mean, you fire your car, and you still power your generator, and you can't get it. And the heat is just too much. Uh, it's not good for Nigerians. Oh, I just don't really understand what is just happening. But why? Because most of the filling stations, they have it, and they are not really to sell. They are not selling. I don't know why they are hogging it, maybe for something. I can't really, really understand. But where I'm having issue here is this. The fuel situation is really affecting us. It's really, really affecting us. I have to be honest with you. It's really affecting us. Why? Because we all know Nigeria as a country. We know how tough the country. We know how our people are struggling to survive, right? Now imagine you're struggling to survive and at the same time, you still find it difficult to be able to, you know, get fuel to run your business or for your car or something. I think that's, that's, that's worse than being a slave or something. This is despite assurances from the NMPC and the Nigerian Midstream and Downstream Petroleum Regulatory Authority of their capacity to restore normalcy in the supply and distribution of good quality fuel by last weekend and eliminate long queues of vehicles at the various filling stations. The government should do the needful. The government should do the needful. There's this adage in Yoruba that you can't be seated under the tree, mango tree, and still be lacking mango. They know how to track these people and get things sorted out for the citizen. We are suffering. This is not fair. Really, for, since last week, I've not been able to drive out because there is no fuel. I can't be able to go and queue, and I have a little baby in, in the house. So it's a disturbing situation. We are begging our government to do everything possible to fix this. Whatever the government has to do with this first situation, I, I, I really wish they can just make it faster because it's really eating us so hard. It's eating us so hard. We're really suffering from it. The crisis has led to increased cost of transportation and many people were left stranded at various bus stops as workers returned from work and students returned from schools. Nigerians have now resorted to trekking as it bites harder into other parts of their lives. They pleaded on the government to find a solution to the problem as soon as possible as it is affecting transportation and also businesses. Olamide Ademi, Captain TV News, Lagos.